Hey guys, I'm Jin Dupree, and today I am showing you how to shoot a frozen rail shot in each of the pockets. So this is going to be six different ways. I'm going to start with the nine ball on the third diamond and the cue ball on the second diamond. So it's going to be this setup for every single shot just to show you that it's done pretty much every single way. So let's get right into the first shot, the easiest shot. Uh, just shoot it straight across the rail. But the problem with shooting it straight across the rail is if you're off by a millimeter shooting center on the cue ball, then this ball is going to hit the rail somewhere or hit this point and you're going to miss. Uh, it's probably going to end up going over here. So we're going to put a touch of inside English, which is left English in this case because this is the left rail. So the spin closest to the rail you are on and we're going to aim a little bit into the rail and that should send this nine rolling down this rail right into that corner pocket. Uh, so here's the shot. Okay guys, for the second option, we are going to bank the nine into this corner right here. So to do this, we're just going to hit about three fourths of the nine ball on its right side. And I like to use a little bit of draw just to bring the cue ball back to this direction. Just make sure, just to be safe that the nine doesn't run into the cue ball. Uh, I use a little bit of back right spin. And I hit about a little more than three-fourths, actually. A little more than three-fourths on the right side of the nine ball. So just hit on this right side. Uh, this is definitely a trial and error video. Uh, these are shots you're going to have to practice to get your feel for. And before you play a match, you're definitely going to have to practice these shots on that table because every single table is different. So... Practice all of these shots, uh, especially that first one, because that's the one you're probably going to shoot the most often. But here is the corner bank. Okay, so this option is very similar to the corner bank shot, except now we are going to cut it way thinner and shoot it into the side. So for this shot, we're using top spin, so the cue ball just slides off the side and goes around the table this way. Just make sure you don't scratch in that corner. The last shot I used, I made it sound like I was going to use a ton of backspin, and I just forgot to clarify that I'm only using a little bit of backspin to, instead of going forward that way, to just bring it back over here so the cue ball doesn't run to the nine. So that's what I meant when I said I'm using backspin. I'm going to use a little bit of backspin in this case too, but only like half, if that, a tip of backspin. So don't put a ton of backspin. Uh, but just you should hit the nine ball just like across its face. This is a shot that comes up more often than the other ones. So this is a shot to know because you can also shoot it with a cue ball with a wide range of directions. So it's definitely a shot to know in practice. Uh, Hit it across the face with bottom right spin, not a lot of bottom again. Uh, cue ball should come up around here. Just try to avoid that nine ball. And here's... Alright guys, for this shot, our pocket now is this back corner right here. Uh, we are now halfway through, I'm pretty sure. So this shot, we're actually going to hit the nine into this rail, off this rail, into this pocket. The biggest part of this shot is avoiding the nine ball with the cue ball. I like to use back right spin and kind of draw it off this rail and just hope I avoid the nine because with follow, it's going to run into the nine around the middle of the table because the cue ball will be going forward, and then I will be coming off of this rail. And we also have the possibility of scratching in that corner. So we definitely don't want to do that. So I'm going to use a little bit of draw 
uh, and drawbacks to this rail. There's also going to have a little bit of right spin on it and just kind of hope the cue ball stays away from the nine ball as it comes towards this pocket. Uh, the nine ball I'm hitting about half the ball on its right side. So I'm hitting about half of the nine ball on its right side. Should go into this rail, this rail, then all the way down to the back corner pocket. Here it is. Okay, for this shot, our target pocket is now this back left pocket. And you may say, well, Jaden, how are you going to do that? Well, I'm about to show you. So this is very similar to this shot that we just did, and it's also very similar to that cross bank into the corner. So we're kind of going to aim in the middle from where we did there. So we're going to aim in the middle of like here to here. And hit off this rail, this rail, into this corner pocket. So we're going to aim to hit the nine ball on its right side, which is sent into this rail, into this rail, into this rail, into hopefully the back of this pocket. So we're gonna hit a little thinner than we just did, but also a little thicker than we did on that cross bank. So in the middle of those two, which is about, uh, I would say, it's hard, just whatever you find in between, because each table is different. Mine, I'm hitting about two thirds of this nine ball. Two thirds of the nine ball, still using that backspin, draw the cue ball over, try to get to stay near that rail so the nine ball has no chance of hitting it. Here's the shot. Okay guys, for this option, our target pocket is this side right here. And this is probably the hardest shot just because of how the side pocket is shaped and the direction the ball's coming from. So the ball's coming from this rail, which makes the side pocket kind of smaller than it would be if it were coming like this way, but that's okay. So this is very similar to that shot we did when we went two rails into this corner pocket. All these shots are pretty similar. So, same thing pretty much the two rails into that corner pocket, except we're going to aim a little more, we're aiming thinner on the ball. So we're hitting more on its right side. So it goes off this rail, off this rail, down here, off here, off here, into the side. So this, you kind of have to hit at the perfect speed. I like to hit it just at like a medium speed to where the ball goes into the side at a medium pace. Uh, it's a very tough shot to judge. I'm still using that draw and just hope that that nine ball avoids it because with the top spin, it's definitely going to hit it. So here's the shot. Okay guys, so I know I told you that I was going to show you six different variations of this. And I lied. I'm actually going to show you seven. Because seven is better than six. So, this shot is, our target is this side pocket right here. This shot is probably one of the easiest on this list. And I just forgot to show you in the easy stage. So, what I'm going to do so we're going to hit this nine ball off this rail, off this rail, into the side. We're still going to hit it with our draw, but we should have no problem with the cue ball hitting the nine ball if we, if we keep the cue ball in this half of the table. Because the nine should only go one, two, three. It should never cross over to this half of the table. So we're hitting about, how much is this? About two thirds of the nine ball on its right side, still using just straight draw. So I keep the cue ball over here. Uh, nine ball should go one, two, right into the side. Pretty easy shot, hit at about medium speed. And here it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. 
If you did, click that like button. And if you want to be notified when I post again, click the subscribe button and then the bell icon right next to it. That will just shoot you a notification and an email saying that I've uploaded some new content. Uh, thank you guys so much for the support and thank you for 3,500 subscribers. That's absolutely insane. Subscribers is up 6,000%, which is amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I hope this video helped you become a better pool player.